We are the Syndicate. Welcome back, everyone, to our Syndicate Saturday morning podcast. And we're going back to the root of video games. Along with the ride, we have ourselves AO Mike 83. Hey, hey, everyone. Leading the charge, we got Deuce MS. You're leading the charge. I'm just here. <laughs> and in the caboose, we got ourselves Bone 13. All aboard! So uh, I guess I'm the engineer of uh, this train ride. So today, folks, like the thumbnail says, we are looking at Railroads Online. Thank you, everyone, so much for being here. Don't forget to check out all the links and everything else we have down in the description below. If you're looking to uh, go to the Steam page and uh, watch this video as well or pick up the game if you're watching this video later on, it does come out on October 1st, 2021. It is published and developed by an indie, Stefan Kainberger. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, but the game's all about open world physics based. It's an open world physics based railroad s simulation. Ugh. Build and drive your own railroads, transport goods, invest in and upgrade your rolling stock and routes, multi and single players. So I'm looking forward to that. So uh, about this game, you build and run your dream railroad through a huge open world. Play exciting online multiplayer sessions with your friends and create your very own single player experience. Build tracks, switches, turntables, trestles, and more to traverse forests, plains, rivers, and canyons. Build stations, yards, and other infrastructures along your routes to service your trains with fuel, water, and sand. Interact with regulators, valves, brakes, couplers, and many more features in this first person to drive your vehicles. Transport goods like logs, ores, coal, oil, and various other freight for a broad variety of industries to earn capital. Invest, upgrade, and customize your rolling stock and routes, and enjoy the realistic railroad physics systems. Railroad Online uses the advanced Unreal Engine physics system to achieve a very realistic railroading experience. It is suited for arcade and simulator friends alike. So to me, it sounds like it's going to be a bunch of stress-free gaming with your group of friends. So I think that's pretty awesome. There's no such thing as stress-free gaming. <laughs> yeah, I, I've played games with trains in them before, and stress-free just doesn't sound... Well, Accurate. with this crew here, I wonder how long it would take for us to purchase, like, have two trains and then eventually do a head-on. We wanted to check out to see how these physics are. Let's do it. <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> I think that'd be our first you goal. Already know I'm, I'm, you already know I'm down to hurt somebody, so... Yeah, he's going to try to shoot somebody. <laughs> as, soon as, we can, as soon as we can get our track built and get both of us on a track, or all four of us on a track, you know it would be bad. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mike's going to see if he can build himself a steam cannon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. As always, we do like to go through our system requirements for you. So the minimum says the operating system of a Windows 7 processor of an AMD Ryzen 3 slash Intel Core i3. So not bad. Memory, 4,000 megabytes of RAM. Graphics, you only need 2,000 megabytes of graphics memory. DirectX version 10.0. Storage, 6,000 megabytes available space. So let's break that down to 4 megabytes of RAM. Uh, sorry, two, four, 4 gigs of RAM, 2 gigs of graphics memory, and 60 no, six gigs, sorry, of available hard drive space. Recommended set, um, requirements are Windows 10, AMD Ryzen 5, Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 6 gigs of graphics memory, DirectX version 11, a broadband internet connection, and of course the 6 gigs of available space as well. So that's all available on the Steam homepage. Like I said, uh, that and many of the other things are down in the description below, like our links to all our different channels. And... Uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of interested in this game. Um, from what I'm seeing just from the Steam homepage, I just got on a solid vision right now. Graphics look pretty good. I think they made use of the Unreal Engine. You guys want to watch the trailer? Yeah. yeah I mean, you, so mean, far you, mean, you mean watch the caboose? The, from the caboose. <laughs> uh, it's not a trailer, it's a caboose. It's a caboose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just flip the screen over here. And everybody's got themselves unmuted. Let's You're supposed to be muted. Or, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, did, unmuted did, with the video. New video uh, came up. I, well, I don't know. I, I haven't heard it yet. All right, here yeah. we go. Copyright. Am I supposed to be hearing something? Well, it looks good, I guess. It, it looks good. We have no hey, sound, you, but it looks good. You guys aren't hearing the music? The webpage? Yeah. Nope, no music. No sound. It looks good, though. It does look good. So not only do you build, you also... Well, I know you have some of your recordings, but I don't really care. Yeah. You can not only build your empire, literally, but you can also drop trains. Oh, you can customize. Customize the train, drop the... Uh, customize the... Uh, uh, oh, I, I mean, I like the... 
Oh, yeah, the building looks really nice, though. That was smooth. It's the easiest way to build a track I've ever seen. Yeah, that music is loud. Nice turntable there. It's all right, but yeah, that music very. is loud. There we go. I like the little, um, um, the little engine. The young, the, 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 the shunting? Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, you're gonna put the drop pins in, you gotta turn the stuff, you actually have to get out and do things. I like that crane well, action. Turning, like, the this is very cool, man. Oh, uh, so you go on the logs. Yeah. <laughs> I got my trees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can okay, see a few derailments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Railroads online. All right. All right, so it looked like we had a conductor, it looked like we had an engineer, um, and it looked like you had a brake man, because back then, in these type of engines, you would have a brake man right. um, who, who jumped from car to car to car to car, uh, turning that, um, yep, that uh, the horizontal the... one. That was the brakes. Yep, that was the brakes back then, yeah. So um, All friction that braking. looks interesting. Yep, uh, that looks interesting. I mean... The mechanics look really nice. They look really, they look really simple, which is nice. Um, they didn't look too complex. And I like that how they use that yellow to really make things highlight when you hover over them. So it's like, oh, you know, you can look around and it's like, what am I missing? And then all of a sudden you hover over something. Like, oh, this, okay. You know, it's, it's right. very you know blatant where you know what you're working with. I like it. Almost has that car mechanic simulator feel to it, where it's like you know you put the pin into into the hitch, you know that type of stuff. Car mechanic simulator isn't that realistic? No, not at all. But you know what you're doing, you know what I mean? Like it's a good representation. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw the cranes that were on there. I thought that was pretty cool. I think uh, that'd be pretty neat. I wonder how the loading is going to go inside the box cars, you know. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if we have to do that by hand, or you know, can we use the cranes? I'm not sure how that's going to work. So, but there was loading a coal. Well, the box cars would be loaded by dollies or something like that. Usually, um, I mean, the the flatbeds would be loaded by cranes, not the box cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the flat decks. You don't would be done you don't crane. take yeah. the top off of a box car, you know? Yeah, to load right. it up. So, um, but again. Don't know. I mean, there wasn't much. I mean, I know that the trailer was very short. Um, but again, this is this is a demo for a game that's just coming out to early access. Yeah, early so, access, October first. Yep. Yep. So yeah, I, we could see a lot of development as they go. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything in storyline about the descriptions. All it is is basically, you know, you own your railroad, you move the, the items around. Uh, and oh, here we go. Yeah, invest in in and an uh, invest in and upgrade your rolling stock and routes. So, mm -hmm. not going to be much of a story, but it is going to be. You know, I would say for multiplayer, it'd be a lot of fun because you could probably get a lot more done efficiently. I guess you could say, yeah, because you'd have two people loading instead of one person loading with cranes. You know that type of stuff. Well, I'm hoping there's uh, some type of economic, uh, economy, uh, I can't even talk, economic system based well, in there. So you says, can't just build wherever you want to and just, you know, do whatever you want to without having funds to do it type of thing. So as long as it's not based in real time, then, you know, the train should be fine, you know. Yeah. But if it takes you a couple hours in the beginning to make a couple thousand dollars, then it, it would, that would be realistic, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm sure pretty soon, you know, it's, if it starts out realistic, you're probably going to be starting in a huge debt, you know, mm -hmm. and you got to work your way out of it. So yeah, we all can't start that's, off that's as a Carnegie, guess. you know. No, no, exactly. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the graphics on it. I think the shaders that they chose were perfect. I love the, the lighter wood colors and such. So that way, anything that is mechanical seems to be darker. So easier to distinguish I, I like what i'm seeing i'm really impressed and being an unreal engine they're using it to their max capabilities so i like it it definitely oh. looks good yeah it's on my wish list is it on yours mm. it's on mine yeah uh honestly 
uh, I don't care so much about a storyline in games like this because the 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 gameplay and the simulation yep. style of it should should stand on its own. So, mm-hmm. yep, I agree with that one. Yeah, I mean, I meant storyline for story, more of a, like a business. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you start off with nothing. You know, small, tiny business. You were, you know, given this, and now you got to work your well, way I mean, up. You know, yeah, but when I hear storyline, I think storyline. Yeah. You're thinking like, individual I don't, I don't, character. Yeah, I don't I'm think overall. simulator. That's a simulator yeah. aspect, not a storyline aspect. Like farm sim for truck sim. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. there's no storyline there, but you start with nothing. You got to build your way up. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. It's. I mean, it. It seems to be on that premise. As long as the gameplay itself stands on its own, should be a good game. And adding the multiplayer, you know, that's, that's going to make it big too, I think. So, yeah, yeah. Or it'll make it great fun anyway. I don't know how big the game will be, but. No, I think uh, I think somewhere I read in the one of the discords or something like that, that there's going to be like around 60, you can do servers of up to 64 or something like that. Oh, yeah, wow. it, was, it was a huge uh, thing. I remember seeing that too. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's. That's going to be pretty awesome, he thinks. That's, that's, that's. Now, I mean, I don't know if that's, sur- I mean, because I think it's individual server, I think it was. The host is the server. So depending on the, on what your computer can handle would be the size that you can, you know, build up to. Um, so I just bounced over to their Discord, it says, what industries are coming? How will they work? We have a freight depot, logging camp, sawmill, iron ore, mine, uh, smelter, coal mine, factory, oil field, and refinery. These industries will consume resources to create a new product. For example, a sawmill will require logs to create lumber, which can then be sold directly to the freight depot or used at the iron ore mine to start generating ore. So there are... I mean, it makes sense you need raw raw materials to Mm -hmm. turn them into finished goods. Finished goods get distributed out to, you know, whoever uh, the consumer. I mean, all that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, under the heading here, can you play single player in Railroads Online? It says, yes, you can set a server size for one to however many people you want to of up to 64 with the added ability to password protect your server from unauthorized entry. Yeah, so that sounds like personal servers. That mm-hmm. sounds like it's on your own computer. Yeah, I would say that uh, farther down. It says the cap is 64 people, but your specs may limit this to a lower number. So that tells me... Yep. That that's going to be definitely that, yeah. Oh, cursor was moving weird. Shouldn't be capturing. Still good though. Yeah, no, it's it sounds like a fantastic game. And anybody else got any thoughts on this one? Uh, just make sure to keep your engineers on, so you can hear all the news about it. Uh, (laughs) I don't know if I'm going to comment after that. I'm going to let that one go. (laughs) You guys go ahead. I'm I'm done. Mike, final words. Sorry, it, was... it looks interesting. I like the graphics. I'm, I'm curious to see how it plays. Awesome. You sure you don't want to say anything there, Deuce, to add on? Come on, you can throw some more cheese on that pie. No, I don't want bone to combust. <laughs> no combustion today. <laughs> I think that one failed. But yeah. <laughs> Well, as always, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, we have our multiplayer mayhem where we kick your weekends off, right? Right now you're watching our Saturday morning podcast starting every 9 a.m. Uh, every Saturday, so giving you some Saturday viewage. And then on Mondays, we also have our 3 p.m. Eastern uh, Syndicate Investigations. So check those out. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. We want to hear from you. If you see any games or any movies or television shows that you want us to cover, please don't be shy. Give us that information down in the comments below. We're always happy to respond and love to hear your guys' uh, ideas. So Thanks so much for being here. I hope everyone has themselves a wonderful weekend. Have yourself a good one, Deuce. See you, everybody. Have yourself a great evening there, Mayo Mike. Later, y'all. And don't get cut uh, in your lawn mowing duties there, poor bone. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I get a job here, will they train me? Oh. Did you call him Mayo Mike? <laughs> I think I heard Mayo Mike. I <laughs> might have. I'm, I'm smiling pretty big here, so. <laughs> That's not the worst thing I've ever been called, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs>